Hey there, welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay, and today I'm doing a little Q&A. some questions I got from Facebook, Twitter, and other social media that you've been wanting to know about me and about queer kid stuff. So let's get to it. First, I wanted to talk about the questions we've asked on the show because I realized you guys don't actually know a whole lot about me. So I wanted to talk about what my pronouns are. I actually use uh, she, her, hers pronouns just like my shirt says. And you also want to know about my identity um, and how I identify. And I identify as a queer, gay, cisgender woman. Sometimes I use the word lesbian, but it's just kind of a preference and I don't use it as much. So let's get to the questions. Okay, so Wendy from Facebook is asking from her little one, Miss K. We would like to know how long Lindsay has had Teddy? Um, so I've had Teddy for a really long time. I've had Teddy for about 25 years, about, that, which is how old I am. Um, and I've had Teddy since I was the same size as Teddy. So se essentially since I was a baby. Um, it's been a long, it's been a long relationship with me and Teddy. We know each other very, very well. Um, and she also wants to know, how old were you when you started wearing glasses? This is a great question. Um, I started wearing glasses when I was, I think it was, I think I was either 10 or 11 years old. So not super, super young, but um, young enough where it's pretty much been a part of my life for a really long time. And I can't really, really remember not having glasses. Um, I used to wear contacts for a long time um, and then they kind of messed up my eyes so I've just been wearing glasses ever since and I found um, my favorite glasses. These are from Warby Parker, not sponsored, <laughs> but um, this is, uh, I found kind of the glasses that I like the best and that was, I didn't like glasses until I found the kind that I actually really loved for myself. Um, so that's kind of my journey with glasses. Okay, this one's from Twitter. Rowan Gale asks, how do you cope when people are mean to you? So this is a really good question. Um, so people are mean sometimes and that's not fun at all. And what you have to do, I've had to kind of learn to be okay with people being mean to me and not letting it bother me. I also talk about it a lot. So I've had people be mean to me because I make these videos and that hasn't been a fun part of making these videos even though I love doing this and I love making videos for all of you. But sometimes it can be hard, especially when those people are mean and it can be very hurtful. So what I've done is decided to talk to other people about it. Other people who are like me and who get mean comments like these. Um, other people, my friends and family who would understand. Um, I've got really, really great friends and family and they've been super, super helpful through all of this. Um, yeah, it's really, the best advice I can give and what I do for myself is making sure that I don't keep it in. Uh, I make sure that I talk to people about it or else it's just gonna, get worse if I'm the only person who's feeling it and knowing about it. Having others kind of take the burden for you a little bit has always been helpful for me. Um, but dealing with people who are mean to you is never easy. You just shouldn't do it alone. That's at least helped me. Okay, so Owen has a couple questions for me from the Facebook page. Um, what inspired you to start the show? Okay, so I've actually been doing queer stuff for kids for a long time, for about four years, but before I was doing it on YouTube and with videos, I was doing it in theater. And I was making shows and directing plays for kids that had LGBTQ plus themes and characters in them. And I kind of, I started watching a lot of YouTube and 
figuring out what I wanted to do with my career and my life, and I saw that there wasn't anything really like this, doing LGBTQ plus stuff for kids um, for the ages three to seven that I'm looking at right now. And I thought that since I'd been doing the work and studying it in school and doing it for, you know, my art, my artistic practice, <laughs> I thought that I was in a great position to be able to do something like this. And I kind of just went to a friend with the idea and it started from there and we just kind of did it and it's become this really cool thing where I've got to connect with you. I also think a big part of it is because, you know, it was it wasn't easy growing up as a little gay Lindsay <laughs> when I was a tiny tot. And um, I think um, some things might have been different if I had known about all of these things when I was that age and I wonder what my life would have been. So I am kind of making these videos for you, obviously, but also for little Lindsay. So yeah, that's kind of why I make this stuff. Out of all the places you traveled, where was your favorite? I really love London. I lived in London for a year, actually, doing um, school, studying for school, and um, I really fell in love with it. I really hope I get to go back soon. I miss all my friends over there, and I really, learned a lot when I lived in a different country. It's really, really important to travel. Um, and I also got to do a lot of traveling in Europe while I was there. It was really easy to get around. Um, I really loved, I went to Budapest, which is in Hungary. And I also went to Berlin, which is in Germany. And those were two of my other favorite places. Also wants to know, do you have any future goals for singing songwriting? So I, this is a great question because I actually wanna give a huge, huge shout out to Amanda, who's our composer for the series. I actually don't write the songs myself. I am not a songwriter. She is super, super, super talented. Um, I've got links to her stuff in the description below. Please check out her things. It's really awesome. She doesn't usually write just for kids. Um, so there's some other grown up stuff that you should check out of hers. Um, but she She's really awesome. I hope I get to have her on the show sometime soon, um, but I don't write the songs. Um, I just sing and I play a little bit of ukulele, which I actually taught myself, uh, which was kind of fun. Um, yeah, it's really easy to play ukulele. You should try it yourself. Lisa Cardone wants to know, why did you disable comments on your YouTube channel? Um, so this is kind of um, similar to Rowan's question of why, how do you deal with people being mean to you? And um, that's kind of how I dealt with people being mean to me. I shut down the comment sections on some of my videos and um, I really wish I could bring them back. Um, maybe one day I will, but for right now, it was really important um, for the channel to be a safe space for everybody. Well, that's it for the questions and answers from me. Thank you so much for watching this video and for watching Queer Kid Stuff. I really enjoyed answering your questions and I really hope you all liked getting to know me a little bit more and why I do Queer Kid Stuff. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos every Wednesday. You can also support our videos by donating to our Patreon page, which is linked below. If you liked my t-shirt, you can actually get your own at our Teespring store. You can check that out in the links below as well. And, um, oh, and a little bit of an announcement. We have season two getting ready for you all. Um, the scripts are being written. Guests are gonna come on, which I'm super excited about. We're gonna talk about some really cool things and that's gonna come in the spring. So you can wait for that. Um, exact dates are still to be announced, but I'm super, super excited about it and I hope you all are too. All right, that's it for me. See you next time at Queer Kid Stuff.